What's up, guys? This is Big Russ for a road trip in RC. And <laughs> I just got drowned to pick up the tires for my Defender and the uh, trans mount for my LCG rig. So let's get into it. Okay. So we got this nice Intiki or uh, Injura. I'm sorry. I've got tools on my brain right now. Um, brass skid plate chassis mount motor mount whatever you want to call it and there is a difference between the SCX and the ACX mounts as you can see we got three holes one two three the ACX has another one over here and I'm guessing that's just so if you want to flip the motor around in the chassis, you can do so easier. Uh, to set these up, super simple. Just kind of drop it on, line the holes up, send the screws in. You don't have to go crazy with this. Like I said, I'm, not, I'm only going to put them in a little bit, get the other one started. Okay. You do need, you don't want to crank it down all the way because then you're not going to be able to line everything up properly. Looks like everything's lined up. We can tighten down the base. Just like that. Now, I could say I'm done, but you do want to put that third screw in on the trans side just to prevent any unnecessary torque flex that these motors can produce. Now on these small scale trucks, I don't think it's as big an issue as say on a 10 scale. Definitely on a 10 scale, use all your mounting hardware for your motors and transmissions because those jokers make power. So, try to get this on and get everything assembled because I've got it just about ready to go. Uh, off camera, I went ahead and put mounted my shocks to the chassis just because it's tedious with the little nuts that you have to put on. Uh, the chassis does not have provisions to secure your shocks. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're building one. And don't have a shorter shot, uh, bolt for that one, so that's gonna have to do. So, let's flip this over. Mind you, my uh, receiver is not mounted yet in this. I gotta get a little bit of Velcro so I can stick it to my Traxxas battery band. But, this is how easy this is to put together okay I'm gonna go ahead slot this in I do have a little bit of play in the chassis which is good okay I might have to nah, not gonna have to boom it's technically installed, even though it's not properly installed. Go ahead and put, lock in my chassis points. All right, and I'm using the supplied Injura hardware for this. Um, this build, Shugu chassis, Injura motor mount, motor. I 
want to say OGRC transmission, hot racing. I can't uh, for my links and drive shafts. I don't recall the um, the brand of the axles. Um, and it's just one of those things like I, I've, I've ordered so much stuff for this truck I don't remember specifics unless I'm looking exactly at the uh, branding on it for this I have to change out the heads so I can put my draft shafts in not a big deal I was going to try to cheat it but you see how well that worked Two more and the skid pan is actually installed. And then we can start on all of our beautiful link mounts. Cool thing is these motors are magnetized. I mean, that's the beauty of a brush motor. It's all electromagnets. So if you do drop a screw into your chassis, chances are the motor's gonna grab it. Now, I may upgrade all my hardware to better quality hardware down the road. We'll see what this platform does and uh, kind of go from there let's see if I can get, cheat the front I'm not, not going to be able to cheat the front and that's fine that happens I am going to have to do something about my servo wiring or uh, wires uh, I thought I had them tucked in pretty good. Apparently not. Because it's definitely hitting my drive shaft. So. We'll start with our lower link. Because it goes in the middle. And always guys, always, always start from the inside, go out. Because if you put your top links in first, you're gonna have a hard time. And I might have a hard time. Like I said, just said, go from the inside out. I'm gonna start with my drive shaft because I cannot get to that screw, the set screw with my links in. That's just a plain and simple fact. So, pop it out, slot it in, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead. Right. That'll be fine for right now. Mm. And now I'm, I'm thinking about this, and it sh probably was a smarter idea to go from the axle side first, but it's fine. I will make it work. That is the name of the game. Make it work. So, drive shaft installed.
I know using my Antigua drivers, this would be a lot easier in terms of having to switch tools, but like I said, everything's already packed up except for this. So I'm gonna just roll with it, get it done. So installing your links, you're gonna have to play with it a little bit to get everything lined up installed properly so the LCG rig is complete for now there are some things that do have to be changed on it obviously I've got to mount my servo better actually mount the servo uh, it's pretty much just gonna live right there on the front nose I've got to do something about my axles, pinion angles. I am getting some binding issues. I uh, believe I can do a little bit with my sh shock placement. Not much. Um, hell, I may even have my front and rear upper links mounted backwards I don't know but you know this thing it sits down low like I wanted it can climb it can't do the uh, the microwave line <laughs> obviously it uh, it's too wide this footprint okay actually a little longer than my Traxxas it's actually a little longer than the Traxxas so in terms of footprint this is an 18 scale rig even though I'm using all 24 scale parts um, I'm pretty happy with these Endura shocks so far I'm gonna have to figure out a better way of securing them to the chassis. Probably gonna have to use Loctite. Just to keep the microscopic nuts from backing off. But if you wanted to build this rig, I would recommend, if you already have a Gladiator, start there. The chassis is 20 to $30. Uh, you can use your stock links, your stock axles, your stock wheels and tires. Learn the rig. Upgrade as you see. It needs to be upgraded. It's not overly complex to do. Especially if you're using your stock rig. All you have to do is undo your upper links and your skid pan transmount from the chassis. Everything else... Um, you know, remove your battery and uh, your ESC. And at that point, just buy another ESC, they're 30 bucks. So it's not a huge investment and you can still use your stock receiver. Me, I went all out on this one. Everything's brand new. There's no parts from my other truck. So if I wanted to, I could run both trucks with the same receiver or the uh, same transmitter. The biggest expense on this, I'd have to say, I'm not even lying, is my link kit. So, I highly recommend you start with a Gladiator if you already have one. If you want to build a rig similar to this, just know that you're going to spend two, $300 to build it. And I'm not even exaggerating. It, there's no real budget to it. It is cheaper than a 10 scale kit, so there's that you guys keep crawling keep drifting whatever you do keep the sticky side down